and nearly 2,600 people tested positive for COVID-19 over the weekend, sending our active case count to a new all-time high of more than 10,000. McLean County now has more active cases than any other time during the pandemic, and LaSalle County has over 2,000. We also learned of 17 new deaths today. Eight were in Peoria, Tazewell, and LaSalle both announced three. McLean added two and Woodford added one. Parents, Peoria Public Schools will go back to remote learning in just two weeks, even though some students just got back to the classroom earlier this month. A district statement indicates this decision was made due to rising COVID numbers in the county and guidance from local and state health leaders. So starting November 30th, after the Thanksgiving break, all students will phase back to distance learning. Staff will also be working from home. In-person learning on the current hybrid schedule will continue through Tuesday, November 24th. Meal service will continue at the school buildings throughout. Then PPS is planning on a return to class that starts in mid-January. Illinois' largest teachers union urging schools to go fully remote. The president of the Illinois Federation of Teachers asked the governor to establish and enforce metrics for schools to use as the pandemic worsens. He says many school districts have ignored science, putting students, teachers and staff in danger. But Governor Prisker says the numbers don't lead him to make any moves yet. I think we've got more than 60 percent of school children in Illinois who are currently remote learning uh, and about 30 some percent that are uh, doing some form of hybrid learning in school and out. Pritzker says the situation isn't ideal for education, but school districts are doing the best they can with the COVID storm now in Illinois.